Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and this is the daily scan for December 18th, 2012. And you can see up here that it's 6.05 in the morning. Well, we're in uh, a little bit of a stressful situation here. Baidu is down and Chipotle is down and you can see by this little ITM here meaning in the money that our iron condor has our short on the call is in the money here so we're going to have to make a decision today and let's take a look at possibly what might happen here at the open Looking at the bid and the ask here, and the midpoint um, is like 97, say. So we might open at 97, which would be, this was the close last night, 96.26. If we open at 97, that's going to be a gap up, and we're going to be even in more trouble. So um, we might have to do something about that. That's the trade that I entered yesterday on Baidu for a dollar forty-four credit, and it's already in a little bit of trouble. But sometimes that happens um, on credit spreads when you first open them. Oops, wrong picture here. Here we go. Uh, this is what it looked like yesterday, and when it dropped below here, my alert went off. And I got in, and then we had a little bit of a recovery here. We'll just see what happens uh, today. So 98.86 is our break-even point, and that's at expiration. So you have to remember that. Um, it's different depending, you know, you can say that that's a break-even, but that's at expiration. And if we look at it here, we're... Um, we are uh, more than a week away from expiration because I did a December 4, which is next Friday's expiration. So we're saying here that if we go to break even, we actually will end up down $500 if we go to break even today. So this is at expiration, the red line. The white line is right now, mathematically speaking. So we are going to have to keep an eye on that. Chipotle is not at break even, but very close to it. We're looking at uh, two close at 286. We got a huge spread here in the bid ask. So we really will have a hard time determining. I mean, if we're talking about midpoint here, then it's going to gap down. So we don't know how this one is going to react at the open. And Panera, I uh, got out of that yesterday. Let's take a look at the chart. I keep popping up with that thing. And we were in a um, a bear call on that one, and it and it made a move up. So I got out of it yesterday, and we lost uh, 166 dollars on that. Still up pretty good for the month, and I want to try to preserve that. Anytime you can get out of a month with a profit, that's good. All right, um, here's a snapshot of the Profit 10 portfolio yesterday at uh, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Time, hour before the market closes. I just wanted, what I wanted to point out here was the theta of 2648, meaning, mathematically speaking, that um, you would gain $26.48 on this trade that day if the price remains exactly where it's at. But you can see that our profit for the day was actually $122.75 for a um, current position of $57.75. So that means it was down, you know, like uh, maybe about 60 some dollars or $70.00. Uh, when the market opened yesterday, and it gained 122 and brought us up to profitability here, meaning that uh, probably it, it, you know, it, the price could have been down here, and it moved up, and the white line moved 
inflated a little bit more to the upside too so you got some double whammy on that so just to say that this theta is really calculated if the price stays right at zero delta we're pretty close to zero and it doesn't move at all for that day you'll gain twenty six dollars so it's kind of you know iffy as far as that's concerned um, let's go and take a look at I can actually take Panera out of here correct help me you guys can I take Panera out of here yes thank you I can take Panera out of here so let's take them out all right quick review of the market looks like we're going to open up this morning and um, they're getting uh, everybody's feeling a little bit more help uh, hopeful for a resolution to our fiscal cliff or a physical cliff whatever you want to call it and Tom Sosnoff says that bonds are going down and that means markets going up and everything's cool VIX is uh, not doing too much here I mean chart wise not only here because it's not open right now but um, it seems to be pulling back slightly it was around 18 a while back not too far back so let's take a look at our A plus list oops clicked the wrong thing here and I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick here I'll take a look at Apple all right, what I have in here on the chart is uh, this is a John Carter study, and this is his um, this is his scalper alert. And I want you to notice how it sort of follows along with the stochastic when we get a hook on a stochastic. And here we get a hook on the stochastic down on percent K and we get a nice move to the downside and then we get a hook up on K and his alert triggers and we, you know and this is this is above 80 we didn't get one here when it dropped below 20 or any of these places uh, this was too much of a sudden move anyway but looking over here again um, we get a move down or hook down or percent K and D and we get his arrow triggering now I'm wondering when this arrow is going to appear here because we already have a trigger on percent D or percent K so when is this arrow going to form and on what candle is it going to form so we're going to watch this so if you want to see how to do this there's a couple ways you can do it you can um, click the analysis tool and say add study and go over here to John Carter and you can add this um, scalper alert if you want I picked up on this from a thinkorswim video from a week or so ago and I've, I've known about John Carter's studies for a while but I thought you guys might be interested in seeing this one and seeing how it correlates to the stochastic. Another way you can add it, of course, is to go over here and do the edit study and come down here to, alphabetically speaking, the TTM scalper alert here. That's another way that you can add it. Another thing I want to show you with the charts, I think this is part of the new release of Thinkorswim, is um, you can act you have a couple new tabs here look up and personal so if you want to go to your watch list directly from a uh, chart that you have in a separate panel you can go to personal here and then select your watch list that you want to work off of and then you can say well give me Apple or you can say I wonder if it's still there give me Amazon uh, eventually so I just had that thing flash up drawings I was looking to see if we could get that older than 30 days 
thing up here again, but I guess not. All right, so we can do that. So let's take a look at Apple again. And we'll actually go down our uh, A-plus list that way. This um, might be setting up. I think that 500 is a good support point down here. I don't think it's going to break through. If it does, that's a pretty significant thing for Apple to drop below $500. So um, this might be a play here, too. And I'm quite sure that Apple's going to gap up this morning because I looked on the um, after-hours chart, and right now it's it's up. And we could take a look at that over here on the Trade tab. Yeah, it's 521, 522. So it's, it's going to gap up. Let's go to Amazon. I'm watching Apple all day long, so I'm not even going to bother putting an alert on it. Nothing going on with Amazon. No, uh, Baidu, we're already in that. We have our break-even alert set up here. CF, one of the three Cs. Well, we might have a long trade setting up here. I'm going to put an alert on this just in case it comes up this morning. I'll just leave it right there. That looks good to me. I don't have to do that anymore. I can just go up here. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, Chipotle, here's our uh, break-evens on our iron condor. We almost hit it over here. So we'll see if that triggers today. Salesforce, uh, no entry point. Yes, it's in a very uh, bullish activity here, but there's no entry point we don't want to chase. Google, oh, it had, I wonder if this is a bad tick here. Sometimes you get bad ticks, and there's been, I've heard some rumors about complaints about, um, uh, thinkorswim charts being a little flaky since the release this weekend. So we'll see about that. I still have this alert on here. Um, I'm not seeing any entry, anything that excites me for entry, especially long on the uh, long-term chart and maybe a short on the medium term chart. I'm just not seeing anything there, so I'm going to take that off. MasterCard. Not enough data. I wish that would stay up there. I have no idea what that thing is telling me. No entry indicators here. Remember, we're looking for pops above and below. Above 80, below 20. Nothing there. Now i got to scroll down. I'm not sure I like that. Price, crazy price line. We took an alert off of that yesterday. Uh, too flat here for any high probability trade. Something may be setting up here. Let's um, draw our eyes to it on the next chart. And we'll just kind of keep an eye on that. Era. Well, at least the scroll down remains. And we just uh, got out of Panera yesterday. And this might be, this is like a secondary entry if we go below uh, these points here, 55 and 45. If we have a hookup from below 45 on an uptrend, that might be a time to get in. So I'm going to put an alert on this. I'm not going to look at the high from yesterday, but I'm going to look at the highest close of this bar. So let's add an alert here, and we'll just see um, whether I'm going to feel good about getting in on this thing or not. I believe that's oh, we. Uh, I believe that's it. Yes, that is it. I uh, covered everything I wanted to cover on this video. It's about 15 minutes. 
fellow traders have a great day and thanks for watching happy trading